Hi, this is a 2012 Subaru Outback I'm doing a rear wheel bearing. And I'm going to show you the reverse process. Either way, I just now got this broke loose. This is the wheel bearing hub assembly. Okay, there's four bolts. And hold on. Okay, there is four bolts on this thing. How do you like so y'all can see? One, two, and then there's get it going three and four you get them from the back side back here okay you can leave the axle in as you can see the axle is still in the bolt holes all right you can't see <laughs> up in there there's four of them you can access them with a 3 8 inch ratchet no problem break them loose get your caliper everything off I'll try to show you the reverse process unless this thing aggravates me. But the hub itself is hard to get out. Take an old Subaru rotor, flip it over backwards, bolt it up, take about a three pound hammer, hit it from the back side, each side, knock it loose. If that don't work, use a 10 pound sledgehammer, whatever the heck works. Either way, whenever you put this back together, put NICs all the way around. The new one, you're probably gonna take a file and clean this one up a little bit, get the rust out of there inside the hole. I'll show you here in just a few. All right, this one's a little stuck. So I'm going to go ahead and get the parking brake cable off. Usually it slides out of here half the time. You want NICs all that, but this is got, the hub itself's got to slide out of this thick bracket, okay? That's actually for your mounting for the wheel bearing. All right, now you're going to get it out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this. I'm just going to take off the little clip right here, parking brake cable. I'm going to disconnect it from the parking brake itself, which I've already did. You can people do that by your hand. Uh, it's right here. All right, I'm going to pull that out of there, and then we'll try to immense the beating to get that bracket out of there, and then I'll start showing one together. All right, I'm having to heat this thing up on that side and this side of the plate, okay, and then take it, hold it up, and hit it with a hammer. Can't really get it in the press without bending everything, so once we get that out, I cleaned up, put anisees around it too. This is what I was talking about, cleaning up, putting anisees around. Okay, you need to file off that rust right there. Stupid design, very stupid. But either way, the anisees will make sure it don't do this again and swell up the rust. Also, you can put anisees on your axle splines right here to keep it from doing that again. Okay, I'll get all this cleaned up, show you again. Okay, here's the wheel bearing hub assembly. And there's the bracket, pretty thick little bigger we gotta go into. Gonna file down the inside of that. All right, all the way around the inside, clean it up. Clean up any rust around, just get it. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's pretty well clean. It's got a little bit of rust still in there. Go ahead and take your hub, put it in there without no NIC, see how well it fits, make sure it slides right in. And you can jar it in a little bit, but not jar it, you know what I mean? Just shove it in a little bit, then we'll anti seize everything up. Oh, and by the way, you want to use, see all that file is rounded or flat. I have to clean that one back off. But either way, you want to use that kind of file or you can use a round file, okay, people? Can't use no flat file working on this on this one. All right, you can use a flat file and clean up this surface right here, but that is it. Okay, put the NSCs, as you can see, on everything. Getting ready to do the axle splines and put it together. Done this just a little bit, done the inside, on it, done the back side, done the wheel bearing just a little bit around it, not up in here, just on the sides. Time to assemble. And don't forget to grease your spline, or grease your spline. And I seize your splines. Splines only, okay, people? You don't need to do nothing else. You can do this a little bit. All it does is go up in the wheel bearing. There is no bearings exposed, so you can do that because it does rust up. Okay, got the four bolts in. Everything slid in good. Got the NICs there. Let me get my axle nut back on. There is a for the parking brake. I'm going to show you this so y'all can see. There is a little tiny clip. Just take a screwdriver and pop it out. Just pop straight up, okay? Do that. And also your ABS sensor right there goes in that hole. Pull it out so you don't damage it if you can get it out. It comes straight up. Do not twist it. Okay, just pull it straight up. Be fine, won't break it. I'll show you the rest here in a few. 
Okay, another thing is you can grease all the points where the parking brake actually sets, okay? Right there, don't, you can put grease on seats, whatever. Just don't put a lot on because it'll get on your pads. Okay, just a little dab here and there. There's about three points. Getting ready to assemble the brakes right now. Y'all get to see what it looks like halfway through, I guess. They make tools for this, but I just grab a little pair of vice grips, put it right there on that metal piece, and just tighten it up. Don't squeeze it too hard, it'll bend it. But that's how I put these on. Pretty simple. I think I have no special tools. Straighten them up after you get the rest of the springs on. And this piece, well, put the spring on. This piece you can put in after you get those two on with no other springs. So then you can put in this and you start assembling all your springs. Pretty easy on this too, just a pair of vice grips. Neil knows, I put it right there and then I just pull it over and put it on. Pretty simple. Do the same with the bottom spring and your adjuster, okay? Put in your adjuster, you can put it in now without the spring, to, okay? And then just take it and this goes here and clips in there's another slot on the other side put your adjuster in between the two right there okay it just has little spots it goes in just in case some of y'all get lost on it i am taking a picture check it out this is how it goes correctly okay parking brake this is driver's side parking brake goes on the back all right goes on the back on both sides all right this is your adjuster back that off and your spring parking brake cable you can see it underneath there heading towards the back there's under your arm all right time to tighten down the axle nut put on the brake rotor i guess i'll show you all that too okay here is the brake caliper bracket Okay, you got two bolts right there. It's upside down. Either way, you got two slides where your caliper goes. You're going to take it. Y'all can see. It goes. Yeah, got it backwards again. Okay. Either way, looking through the camera trying to do this don't work. Okay. And y'all should be able to see where it goes. Goes back in there like that, okay? Two bolts, top bolt and a bottom bolt. And you got your caliper bracket. All right, why is this piece of junk not focusing? There we go. Okay, finished piece of junk picture. Product. Product? Yeah, I made that. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, either way, Disassembly, reassembly of a wheel bearing, kind of disassembly. I wanted to show you all from the beginning, but I want to make sure it's going to come apart first. Either way, there you go. Enjoy the fun of a wheel bearing. Be sure to definitely lock that down with a chisel, screwdriver, something. I get too many of these in that are not locked down right there. Okay? See, that's what that groove is for, people. Do that. Definitely helps. This is your adjuster hole for your parking brake. If you need to adjust it because it ain't tightened up, made it pretty simple. Just take off your wheel, pull that plug. Pretty neat. Not bad. Enjoy.